Hi, this is Andrew. I'm working on the homework assignment tonight, and it's on cumulative probability distributions. Uh, my homework assignment has uh, 10 data points. Uh, I'm not going to use a spreadsheet. I found this uh, program online called cram101.com. It's a lot easier than a spreadsheet because everything is formatted for you, and it even gives you the formulas. So let's go to, to cram101. So here's the uh, stats lab menu on cram101. Uh, we want to go down to probability, and here we go, cumulative probability distribution. Click on that. And the first thing it asks us for is the number of data points. Uh, we have 10. And then let's put the values in. So the first one is 94, 175, 36, 73, 42, 39, 95, 84, and 22. And then the last one is 30. All right, let's check our values. All look pretty good. Okay, uh, you can always come back to CRAM and uh, you hit this random data, which will be kind of neat because it'll generate new numbers for you. And you can keep practicing until you, you master the topic. So let's go down to our first step. Uh, that's first step is to order the data numerically. So it creates this, another table, which takes all the data we just put in and puts it in numerical order, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then your number of intervals, uh, we're not going to use all 10. It's a little hard to get a shape of the distribution. So we're going to reduce that number to five. This is an arbitrary value. You can change it uh, anywhere you want. So the upper level of our distribution is 95. And the lower limit is 22. And that gets us a range of 73, which is 22 from 95. And then to get to the interval size or width, you take the range of the distribution and divide it by the number of intervals. So uh, you take 73 divided by 5 and round it up, you get to 15. Okay, here's our intervals. Okay, each of the intervals, you can see the lower limit has been reduced by 0.5, as is the upper limit, and that's to make sure that each score in the distribution falls in, in only one of these so that it, uh, there's no possibility that it can satisfy two different uh, intervals. Next step would be to calculate the frequencies. And so it says 21.5 to 36.5, we should have three. Let's just verify that. And 22, 30, 36, yep. 39 does not fit in the first interval. So the frequencies are three, two, one, one, three. And then the probability of getting a score in the first interval is the number of successes, which is three, relative to the uh, uh, number of scores in the distribution, which is 10. So we have a 30% chance of getting a score in the first interval, 20% in the second, 10% in the third, and so on. The cumulative probability then says you take the probability of that interval plus the probability of, of the uh, getting anything less than that, and then add that together. So in the first one, we don't have anything less, so it's a basically the same probability. So it's a 30%. Second level, you have a 20% chance of getting it into the second level and a 30% chance of getting it into the level below it, levels below it. Add those together and you have a 50% chance and you continue doing that. So in the third interval, you have a 60% chance cumulative probability because you have a 10% of getting it into that particular interval and 50% of anything below it. And that's how you get a, a cumulative probability distribution. Uh, you can print those out or plot them. I like to plot them. Uh, we'll use the polygon. And that gets us the cumulative probability distribution. That's a lot easier than creating graphs on Excel, let me tell you. All right, thank you.